Hello, Vidagabia here and welcome to Lionheart, our resident Minecraft 1.13 survival SMP. And uh, yeah, welcome to our aquatic adventure guys. However, of course today you find me in a ravine. Because <laughs> everybody is out there looking for their treasures and all that sort of stuff. And I figured, you know what, I'm just going to go underneath the mushroom island where it's nice and quiet. And gather a bunch of iron for today's project, which is to uh, build a starter house and to set up a uh, furnace array. So yeah, I'm just basically going around here. Basically going around here looking. You see I've been up there gathering some iron. Um, I can't really see anymore at the moment. I'm sure you do. Because <laughs> that's always the way it is. But um, I've also found some diamonds. I've made a diamond pick and I have 11 more diamonds. And this is my food at the moment, so we're, we're not doing too well food-wise. I found some redstone as well, that's nice. Good start for that. And yeah, I mean, I'm just going to basically uh, keep going here until I have roughly two stacks of iron. That's my goal here. And uh, then I'll meet you back up at town and we'll go through what has been happening since uh, episode zero last night. Welcome back to spawn! I had my iron collected. Behind me here, Bragar is building something. I don't know what it is. He's on his hill there. I'm on my hill here. Let's uh, see here. We need to we need to do some things today here. Um, we're cooking up the iron here, right? It's almost done with the stack. Let's get another stack. I got a little bit more than I need, which is it's not a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing. Let's grab that. Chuck that in there. And uh, let's have a little walk around here, and then I think we're going to build a little starter house around about where that tree is, okay? I know, well, actually maybe around about where that tree is. I know that uh, Butcher is going to be sort of in this area somewhere, but he's not started building yet, so I don't exactly know where he's going. And I've, I've been getting the acacia wood, because I'm going to use that a fair bit. And it's part of, whoa, what speed we have here. It's also part of the pallet of of the official stuff in town. Look at this, guys. Who's over here? Who's over here, guys? This is Croc17. Yeah, new member, guys. Building a very snazzy house for this early. Man, he must be uh, smelting up the stone. And that is something we're going to have to do as well quite shortly here. Over here we have Bragar beholding this very nice block of dirt. Yes. This is Bragar's house up here. Let's see if we can actually see it. There we go. Nice for a starter house. Here Kemet built a community mine. That's very cool. Here we have um, Quabra is, you know, setting up farms like there's no tomorrow. Here's something. Maybe potatoes. It's gonna go carrots there. Or maybe it's the other way around. We have wheat. We have melons. Pumpkins. Cacti. And we have the, the animals here as well. We have a sheep. One sheep, guys. We have some mushrooms. Some piggies. And those things. Whatever they are. Chickens, yes. We have all the types of trees, I think, apart from jungle trees. Which we are working on. And then if we go down over here, you can also see that the people are starting to build over this side. So we have... Uh, the beginnings of Shorty's docks here. That's going to be cool. And over there, on that part there, we have a nether portal you can see. But I think Nina is also over there. And then I think people are possibly over on these islands as well. Oh, and Ocean Phoenix. Yeah, over there is Ocean. And then somebody is up there as well. That might be Ike. Uh, possibly. Oh, and somebody has an oars. <laughs> Couldn't even see who that was. Oh, well. Yeah, so that's that. Now, we're going to build a starter house, though, guys. Okay, so our hill is here. And, uh, yeah, the mushroom island is there. Central central part of the island is over there. And I think we're going to just sneak in a little house here. Somewhere, yeah? And it's going to be a fairly cool house, I hope. But it's only temporary, guys. Well, actually, it might stay. You know what? Now i got a different idea from what I originally had planned. Okay? Uh, Kemet. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks, Kemet. That's awesome. Um, we have redstone. Although, it's so laggy, I can't pick it up. Okay, so I got a slightly different idea here now, okay? Bear with me a little bit. So let's build this out a little bit here. Then maybe we take away a little bit here. Yeah, this will be good. 
there, this will be awesome. Take it away like that. Alright, and we'll build it into the hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's just start, maybe say, like, where, where do we want the entrance? We want the entrance here, maybe, right? So we we'll start like that. Make it uh, one, two, three, and then it goes across, right? Let's make it go across like this, and then go up another two, maybe, and then let's go across again, right? So that's the start of the house. Now the house is going to be a dirt house mainly, really. So bear with me here when, when, uh, and don't dismiss it yet, guys. So we have a place, a piece of dirt there, there. It's going to be like an Iron Age type house. That's that's a, a better way to put it, really. If I say dirt house, you're just going to unsubscribe to me. <laughs> but bear with me. Actually, if you uh, follow my Twitter, which uh, I recommend you do, if you don't. Uh, you will know uh, about this type of house, right? Because I posted a little, very tiny, short video about it uh, not too long ago, right? Um, and so we're going to build like a variant of that because I, I, I really, really enjoyed that house, basically, to summarize. And uh, yeah, so we, we are going up here, up here, and then this is the top of the house, right? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that'll be cool. Whee! <laughs> Kemet! Stop walking in my path. Yeah, and then we just sort of drag it over to there, to here, you know? Like this. Yes. And then we have to incorporate it, like, incorporate it in the landscape here. Um, so we just pull it to wherever it stops here. Yeah. Where the... Where it stops. I make no sense as usual. Where the hill starts is what I'm trying to say. So like that, yeah? That's cool. Now it's not gonna just be a dirt house guys, so don't you worry. We'll fix it up and it'll be actually a really nice roomy and cool looking house here I think. We'll find. Am I out of dirt? No I'm not. Okay that's cool. So we have the dirt. Now what we also is going to do or are going to do is we're gonna put logs on here. Actually, let's pick another type of wood for this stuff here. Let's pick oak, I think, yeah? Oak logs. Come on. Get me the acacia. Okay, so let's get some oak logs from here. I'm sure somebody has taken my oak logs. Outrageous, guys. Outrageous. Okay, I'll just go and steal somebody else's logs then. <laughs> right, so yeah, we put logs here all the way through here like this. Right, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the cool thing is the grass is going to grow, of course, on top here. And then we're going to actually add some um, some grass and some maybe some coarse dirt and, you know, make it look really cool up there. Maybe some path blocks and stuff like that. And uh, But that, this is like, this is the basic shape of the house. And then if we go down here, this will be a good place to go down. And then over here we can have like side entrances. Uh, but what we need now, I think, is we need to have like an interior type block because we don't want dirt to be shown on the inside of the house. So yeah, anyway, let me work a little bit more on this and we'll have a look. And here we go, guys. Uh, let's see here. We have uh, some storage in here. This is our stone chest. And then we have some storage oops, in here. Uh, that chest doesn't work. I'll fix that later. This is our dirt chest, and then uh, the main, the pièce de résistance here. A little, a uh, little room in here. We can do quite a lot with this later on, but for now we have our valuables, uh, and nothing, and then we have our food chest here, and then this is our wood chest for now. And uh, yeah, this is gonna do for a starter house for now. I think uh, maybe in between episodes I'll go and. Get some grass and plant that on here and things like that. And uh, I've been pondering this this uh, place here. This is where we're going to have our main base, guys. Our main starter base is what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, I want. I sort of want to figure out what the natural center is for this place. I think the best way to do it really is to 
get up a little bit here. I, I tried to take another layer off here, but I didn't like that so much. So, yeah, I guess this is kind of the center, right? So let's let's say that this is the center, right? So what we want to do here, because now we're going to build the smelter, okay? But we need to plan out where it's going to go first, because um, yeah. Uh, it's going to be part of the base and I want to place it in the right place for, from the beginning basically. So we need to make a little outline of something here and then we need to place the smelter into that outline. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is how far out it's going to go. So then it's going to be, uh, I think, five here. And then like Yeah, two, two here, and then like that. So then we get a circle that is uh, 17 diameter, right? So now we can see if it adds up. One, two, three. Now we should be in the middle. Yeah, four, four, five, and then two, like that, right? And then we go all the way around like this. In the same pattern okay so then a little squiggly bit here and so on <laughs> oh i didn't see that until now they got a norwegian flag guys oh man <laughs> the norwegian hill over there Kemet and bragar they're from norway and yeah of course i'm from sweden so they have to put a norwegian flag up man well okay that's fine that's fine that's fine let's see here we need to go one two three I think here we need a furnace right to make this furnace ray so anyway this is the circle guys when it's done yeah nice uh, nice little circle it kind of fits on the hill uh, although we will have to landscape it a little bit I mean, we'll see if we have time to do that today or not we'll have to wait and see guys anyway we need to have four furnaces so I need to go and get some more and then I want to have a furnace down in the house as well here because it's going to be a little while before we can actually live in, in what I'm building up there. Whatever that is that you can't know about yet. So let's see. Let's just make two. Actually, let's make three furnaces, right? And so we put one here. And then we bring two more with us up. Let's sleep in our bed. I haven't done that yet. Sweet dreams. Yeah. All right. Let's see here then. So we put these two down here like that. Okay, so it's not centered, but that's... Ooh, the lag is extremely real. Wow, that was weird. Now I don't know if I'm coming or going here. Little Shorty has a flag, but she's logged off. Okay, I probably crashed myself now. Whoa, serious lag there, guys. Serious lag. Now, so there is a reason why we're building this furnace ray. And the reason for that is... Basically that I need tons and tons and tons of smooth stone and we all do in fact as a like as a server because um, Yeah, so th there'll be explanations of that later maybe but uh, basically um, the the new block the uh, smooth stone the double slab That's going to be quite interesting and, and important for us here at on the server because um, that will give us a speed boost and that's part of our um, our plan to to have um, roads made out of that uh, in this in this area right so uh, yeah uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be important for us basically so we need to make a ton of hoppers here I'm gonna make the same um, smelter that I pretty much always make well we need uh, quite a few hoppers but no other real redstone and uh, yeah, if of course, if you um, if you know me, you know that there is a tutorial about this on the channel. Okay, so go and check that out if you are interested in what it is I'm doing here. So let's see, 12. I think we need 22 hoppers, and then we need to make these two minecarts into hopper minecarts, and then uh, we also need a piece of rail. So we're gonna have to make. I guess six rails, and I need some wood. Uh, we have some wood here. Is this how you make rails? I can I remember this? Yes. Okay, 16 rails. Excellent. So, 
Guys, it feels like I start every every one of my let's plays with this uh, smeltery, which is fair enough. So what we'll do, guys, is I'll just build it and we'll be back when I'm done. And you can check this out in the tutorial. All right, guys, here we are. Furnace array complete. Okay, so we have uh, the input chest is up here. Uh, it goes into these hoppers here, so it'll uh, feed these four furnaces equally. And this is the fuel input. Same deal. Yeah, it's quite nice. And now we should be getting smooth stone here, which is really a good start. And you know what? And what I need now really is more smooth stone or more more cobble. So I guess I guess I'm bound for the mines or something like that because honestly, caving will not do it, right? Because you you get so little so little stone from that, really. So I guess I need to go and um, get, I guess I need to go and just dig, basically, is what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, I also need smooth stone for terraforming here, around here, and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's uh, that's I think our next goal here, right? Um, but actually, you know what? Tomorrow we're going to get quite a lot of this done, I hope, because tomorrow there is a stream. Yes, we're going to stream from here. I'm going to try and build the tower, uh, sorry, the the town square. Although, there are now farms in the way here, I think. Although, maybe the town square will go just there. Yeah, anyway. We're also going to try and build a post office, I think, in the stream. Uh, or some things like that. So, yeah, that's going to be cool. But let's let's have a look around so and see what has happened in this, uh, in this this uh, during this episode in the town. So, first of all, this is now... This looked good before, but now this is looking really good. They've added leaves, they've... They're sprucing it up, the Norwegian flags, they can dance around the pole here when it's midsummers. It's really nice. Hey Kemet. And so that is looking stellar. The Norwegian camp is doing really well. And here we got uh, a really lovely house, I would say. Um, and I think he's logged off again though, but yeah. It's Crux17, I want to say. Man, I am so sorry guys if I'm butchering your names. I'm, my, my memory is rubbish, that's how it is. Okay, so he needs to do the roof still, but it's looking real snazzy. Real snazzy. And uh, then we have... Then we have... Oh, we have a house down here now. It's probably Shorty's. Let's see here. Shorty's starter home, yeah! Birch, 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 birch. And we have a little loft up here as well, that's nice. And guys, you need to go and check out all of these people's channels. They will make videos as well from here, of course. Down to the last man. And uh, yeah, the dock is still unfinished. But that's fine. You can't do everything in one go, can you? If you um, keep up with most of these guys, you'll find that you see things um, you know, from different, different perspectives. And uh, yeah, you get a really good sense of how the server is actually evolving here. So uh, when we started this episode, we were 16 people online. There are still three, six, eight people. So you know it's going, it's going really fast here and really well. So you need to start keeping up with everybody now. Yeah, I think that's most of the things that has happened anyway. So people also all have also been exploring tons. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode, and I hope you liked the furnace array, and I hope you liked the starter house. And I hope you liked uh, this, all the things we did in this episode. If you did, leave a like and uh, comment and let me know what you think uh, I should do next. And I will see you next time, guys. Uh, bye!